Hi, welcome to an Arduino tutorial from RoboJax. In this video, we are going to learn how we can display the temperature as bar graph that is measured with the BMP180 temperature barometric sensor. You can get the code for this by clicking at the link below the video in the description, which will take you to robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. Let's get started with this. In many instances, you need to display a temperature in a device or something, and you want to be able to read it from further away. Uh, looking at the number is not easy to understand. For example, right now, 50 is at the maximum, and you know automatically that 25 is at the middle, so this is about 25 degrees Celsius, and you can read it from further away. For that reason, I'm going to show you how you can display the temperature from this BMP180. Uh, barometric pressure and temperature sensor on this LCD screen. I have a separate video explaining the LCD that has only four wires with I2C module. The link will be provided. You need to download the library for this and test it and make sure you can display a simple text on this. Then I have a separate video explaining this BMP180 with a code. Make sure to run that separately and be able to display the temperature on the serial monitor. Once you succeed with those both, then come here with a combination of these two we, and installing the library for a bar graph, then you will be able to display. So in this video, I'm not going to explain anything about the hardware, how they function, and then configuration. We're just jumping directly with the bar graph and then how to wire it. If you need a wiring diagram for this, it is available at my Arduino course at Udemy, the link is below the video in the description. If you want to learn Arduino step by step with all the codes, library, schematic in one place, clearly explained step by step with structure course, visit my course at udemy.com. Link is below the video. In no time you will be able to do school projects in mechatronic, engineering or any other subject all in one course. Let me explain now the wiring. For the wiring we have here SCL, the pink one is connected to Arduino to the last pin of Arduino Uno, that is the SCL. SDA is connected using gray wire from the second last. And then VCC white is connected here at five volts. And ground is connected to the ground on this side. We have a ground pin. For the BMP180, SDA is connected using green wire to A4. SCL is connected using blue wire to A5. This uh, purple wire is ground. Ground is connected to the ground of Arduino in here. And the last pin is VN. Gray wire have been connected to 3.3 volts. Remember, this must be connected to 3.3 volts. Otherwise, it will get damaged. Let me now explain the code. The first thing that you need to do is uh, you should have installed the BMP180. Uh, this is, uh, you should have the library for the BMP180 for this module library. Uh, the link will be provided. You will download it as a zip file. And then you need to download the liquid crystal display library for this one. It will be provided as a zip file. Then you need to download LCD bar graph uh, RoboJax also will be provided as zip files, download them. So you will have three zip files and for each you will do this step. If you have not included previously, then include it like this, go to sketch, include library, add dot zip library, click in here, and then point it to where you have saved it. In this case, this is for example, a library dot zip, click and click open. So this way, one library will be included. Do the same thing for the three. Once you're done, then the system will be ready. I will give you this code, copy and paste it in your Arduino, and let me explain it now. BMP180 library, and the FRCD library, this is the link. All these links will be included with a code, so you can go and check the original one. 
directory and then this is a bar graph original library I have modified it and changed it and added stuff so this will not work the one that I'm providing you will work for BMP 180 I this is for BMP 180 this is some spark fun electronics wire.h is needed for i square c communication it's part of arduino you don't need to download anything and then from this we are creating an instance of that class and we call it rgt robojax temperature and then the next line we are defining the unit either as c for celsius or type f capital f uh, or capital c f for fahrenheit remember this is a character put single code you must put and there is no comma or semicolon like that and then define the maximum temperature because this screen should be proportional to some value you have to set your maximum for example you can set this to be 50 then 25 will be here and the rest will be proportional if you set this to 100 then we will have 50 here and 25 will be somewhere in four uh, characters so this is 16 characters so you set your maximum in here and when you set your maximum uh, if this is c this 50 is 50 degrees celsius if this is uh, if this is fahrenheit then the, the value that you have is fahrenheit uh, and accordingly this c is the one that is displayed in here so either you type capital c or capital f this is for record cursor display and in here we define number of lines or columns this is number of columns 16 characters in here and then we have number of lines two lines one line and two lines so if you're using this could also work with the 2004 this has 20 characters and four lines in that case type here 20 and then four then from this class we are creating this class instance and we call it lcd and here this is the i square c address of this module i've written it here let me show you how you can get it you include the class there will be a uh, I, I square c scanner uh, the link will be provided also it will be part of the class that i will include it so if you click on file example and scroll down until you see our robojax bar graph robojax bar, bar graph you will see here i square c scanner i2c scanner open this and, and this is the link where I, I've taken this I square C scanner. We do not worry how it functions, just upload it to the Arduino board. Once uh, this is uploaded and finished, click on this and open it, and you will see that it will read the address here. Here you will see two addresses one is for this module. This is also I square C and the other is for the other module. To understand if this belongs to that one or to this one, this is the, uh, the, this pin on this side of Arduino. This is for the temperature sensor. I'm removing it and you will see that you will have only one uh, I square C value. This zero X mean hexadecimal type and this is the actual address 3F. That is the address for this one. So you will find the address for this one for the temperature sensor we do not worry the system will work automatically connect this so you will see we are getting back the address 0x77 you do not worry so we got the our address close this close this program and whatever you found type it here this column and line or will be passed here as a column and lcd line then we include the lcd bar graph robojax this is what, once you download it this will be taken care of and then we will create an instance of that and we call it robojax and we pass that lcd we created above as a reference here this is the most important part 16 means we want a bar graph of 16 character and this is the starting point and this is the line this is a character this is a line so this 16 mean draw 16 character long and start from zero either this line or this line line zero zero of line one or zero of or line two but this means zero so this is line zero and this is line one so zero zero means start from character zero line zero 
if you want it here it will be 0 1 so you will change this to 1 if you want this to start from 8 you can type here 8 but remember because it's from 8 to 16 you will have 8 character you have to change this to 8 then inside the setup serial begin this is for uh, serial monitor let me upload this code because the previous code have been erased will print the value here on the serial monitor in case your LCD has some issue so you will be able to see it in here initialize the 16 and 9600 baud and 9600 is the number here at the bottom of this screen LCD dot begin is to initialize this LCD screen uh, library this is clearing the library from previous value this is printing the robojax and then after that we say robojax temperature dot begin if the temperature begin means it's initializing the library for this if it is returning true then we print lcd cursor line uh, character zero line one we print lcd bar graph so we print this text and this text let me restart this and you will see it at the beginning we will see this text here robojax bmp 180 so this is the, the, the text and if it fails we print failed you will see failed you will see failed after that it will just stay here because here we say while one then we give the user about two seconds to read that information after that we clear the screen the setup is done then we are going in the loop inside the loop robojax.clear line one we uh, we need to clear this line every time the loop goes so for example there is number changes we have to clear it and print this again and again and again so this one mean line one if you want to clear this you put line zero but in this case we are not clearing this the class is clearing this for us so we just take care of the second line and then we use this function that i have written we call it get temp it gets the temperature which i will explain it next below the line and stores the value in t this is a variable of type float so t is now holding temperature in celsius and then float t graph for the graph we need to get a temperature because we need it so we put t into the graph and we check if the temperature is not equal 999 999 is an error that i have set if this fails for any reason then the my a function will return 999 so we check if t is not equal 999 then print this and this line we check if uh, temperature of for the graph is bigger than the maximum then we set the temperature equal zero so this will be will become zero and this line will print the graph for us it says robojax draw value and it gets the t graph and the maximum temperature so the, it needs two parameters to draw this graph for us this also will print it on the this print the text you see double quotation on the serial monitor and that print the temperature with two decimal point this comma two mean two decimal places and then we set the cursor at line one cursor character zero line one we jump here and again we check if it is bigger than if maximum temperature is bigger than temperature then we print temp else we print the word max here and then we print the we set the cursor to go to character seven you see here this is zero one two three four five six seven at seven line one we print the temperature which is this temperature and after that we LCD print this is a character because 222 we are converting it to character of ASCII which is a symbol of this um, degree so this is converting it and this is printing this degrees and after that we check if the unit that we set above is equal C then we LCD print C this C otherwise on the serial monitor we print c else which means if, if it is not true we print f and also on the serial monitor we print so you will see f here and on the serial monitor you will see else then we print 
status error and we set the cursor on line one and here we will print error which I'm going to show you now I will disconnect this from the and then you will see that it prints error no number nothing so you know it's uh, there is some issue connected it back and then we wait 500 millisecond or half a second and the loop will continuously doing the same thing over and over again let me now explain the get temp I set it as a double this is a function that's a beginning and this is the end if you want to learn about the function I it has been explained fully in my Arduino course at Udemy the link is below the video so we define a character called status and we define a double variable called temp and new temp then we use RGT this is the object that we have defined uh, at the top of the code start temperature dip and we store it in status check if the status is not equal zero this means not and this means equal zero and we have the delay whatever number other than zero it is we will wait for that amount of time it's just a measurement time and then we use rgt get temperature and then temp what it means is get the temperature and store it in this value as a temp and then this is again a status because if we get zero it means there is an error if that is not the case then we say if the unit is fahrenheit then we get the temperature plus 32 multiplied by 9 divided by 5 so this is converting it to fahrenheit and storing it in a variable called new temp new temperature else if it is not f then the temperature is stored in a new temperature in both cases new temperature is holding our value either in fahrenheit or in celsius and then we return a new temperature else if there is an error we return 999 which i explained above so if there is error we just return 999 and we display error on the screen i've spent hours working on this project writing the code testing it recording uploading the video so you can learn the least that you can do for me is to click on subscribe you don't lose anything it's really appreciated let me now demonstrate it i'm using this mastercraft heat gun from canadian tire let me blow uh, hot air onto this see that it is very hot As you can see, it, it, it went to 45, 45 degrees and proportionally the bar graph also increased. Now let me go to above 50. As you can see, it is set to 50. So when it is above 50, you should see here max and the actual temperature will be displayed here. Max bar graph has displayed and uh, disappeared and then max is displayed here so you know this is above 50 when the temperature drops back to 50 you will see that it will go back to normal and bar graph will appear so it's displaying the value let's say 100 and then let's change it to Fahrenheit upload it I hope this 45 is not 100 so because we set the temperature to 100 Fahrenheit you see that this is now showing maximum and if I keep it with my hand and make it cooler you will see that automatically the temp it will be displayed as 98 it's almost maximum and then 50 thank you for watching this was how to display the temperature from BMP 180 on LCD screen if you like this video and learn something please thumb up if you have comment or question post it at the comment section below I try to answer and reply don't forget to subscribe so you can get updates of my other cool upcoming videos